Initially, I'd been really excited about yesterday. The premise sounded amazing and I thought it would be fantastic. And then it came out and I heard quite a lot of negative things about it. And I just put off watching it because I thought I don't want to be disappointed by it. And I don't want to waste my time watching a film that I probably won't like. But it's coming towards the end of the year and because of the current pandemic, I haven't really seen that many 2021 releases. So I thought this one is as good as any to watch for this year. And I actually quite enjoyed it. It's actually pretty decent. It's not amazing. There are things about it that I would have changed. But ultimately, it's good fun. It's directed by Miguel Arteta and stars Jennifer Garner as the mother, Alison. And Alison is kind of represented as a pretty typical bad cop parent. You know, the mother has to say no and do the disciplining. While the father, um, played by Edgar Ramirez, uh, is, you know, the one who gets to say yes. And, you know, Alison decides that this is not who she wants to be and not how she wants her children to view her. She has three children, Katie, Nando and Ellie, played by Jenna Ortega, Julian Lerner and Evely Carganilla. I, I, that might be a silent G. I'm not sure. I apologise if I mispronounce any of these names. And she decides her children are not going to see her like this. She is going to give them a yes day. And a yes day is 24 hours where her children can say, can ask for anything within reason. And she has to say yes. And the children are in charge of the itinerary for the day. What really surprised me in a, in a really pleasant way is that for the most part, the children's itinerary revolves around the family as a whole. I'll be honest. I expected the children each to want to do their own individual things, but they managed to come up with a plan for activities that they can do as a family. And I thought that was really nice and really good. And some of the things they do are quite tame. And then some of them involve a little bit more planning. And I think the activity that I didn't enjoy without giving too much away was the outdoor kind of assault course kind of thing. I just... I thought it was not in keeping with the rest of the film. It wasn't quite as fun or as exciting or as colourful. And, you know, ultimately, regardless of the things that I didn't like about it, I still find it to be a lot of fun and something that I found to be a lot better than expected. Like any decent film, it does have a deeper message, both for the parents and the children. The message for the parents, obviously, Maybe cut your children some slack. Maybe look at how negative you're being all of the time. But also for the children, listen to your parents. When they say no, it's usually for a very good reason. Yet, it's not amazing. It's not perfection. But it's enjoyable. It's not as bad as a lot of the reviews are saying. It is not... Um, you know, a lot of people who have given it negative reviews have likened it to family vloggers. And I can kind of see that. But at the same time, I really don't care for family vlogging channels and this doesn't have the same kind of feel or approach. In fact, if anything, it's the exact opposite because this mother is definitely not the kind of person who would be a the mother in a family vlogging channel. Uh, obviously, Jennifer Garner gave a brilliant performance. Everybody did across the board. Yesterday is not the film I hoped it would be, but I still really enjoyed it. 